Hey guys, it's Roz. I wanted to show you today the Maxpedition Traveler Deluxe. Not to be confused with the Traveler. This one has a bit more features than the, the Traveler, and you can see this at maxpedition.com. The reason I'm doing the video on this is I was watching several videos from the knife, no, not knife show, the blade show, and I saw dudes um, with these around their neck carrying their credentials in here. So there's this window pocket in here. And so I thought, hey, I should do a video now too. But I wanted to show it on because the deal with the Traveler Deluxe and the Traveler is it has this um, non-elastic paracord around your neck, okay? But then it has this elastic cord to go around your waist. So if you were asleep on a train or something, this could be under your shirt or under your coat, zippered up. Keep all your goods real close and protected to you, like your passport, your wallet, your money, you know, the stuff you do not want to lose, okay, or get stolen. Um, do you remember a recent video of mine? I asked my colleague, hey, I said, hey, have your son you know, MMS you a photo of himself so we can put it as a contacts in her new iPhone. This is a crazy, stupid story. But she said, oh, he can't. He got his wallet stolen. I was like, what's up? She said he fell asleep on a train in Barcelona and they sliced the bottom of his pants pocket and took out his phone and his wallet. Um, but if little dude was carrying one of these uh, traveler packs against his, his chest or his belly, you know, maybe he wouldn't have gotten his wallet and his cell phone stolen. So anyway, it's a pretty cool little pack. Um, as you see, it hangs around your neck like this, but I'm going to go inside and show it to you because the bugs are nasty this time of year. So let's go on inside. Okay, so here we go with the Maxpedition Traveler Deluxe. So as you see, the bottom has an elastic cord to go around your waist, and the top has a lanyard to go around your I've been using it lately without the uh, waist cord, so I just can untie it and remove it if you don't want all these cords all over the place. So for the video, I'm gonna remove that. All right, so what the Traveler Deluxe is, is a giant wallet. It's a giant wallet that hangs around your neck. Can you see that? Here we go. And it has so many features and so many little compartments and places to hide things. It's sort of amazing in this little thing. I think it's six and a half, let me look at their catalog. What do we got, six and a half by five and a half, by three quarter inch, but I'm pretty sure once you load this up, you can get it probably about two inches in there. So the difference, I think, between the Traveler Deluxe and the regular Traveler that Maxpedition sells is the Traveler doesn't open. The Deluxe opens and shows all these new features inside. All right, so let's start from the front. All right, so we have a loop field here that you could put a patch on or something, a little grab loop here that you could put like a carabiner, hang your keys maybe little Velcro closure here. And this front area is a heavy gauge plastic. So you can put some kind of map or, or maybe your passport or something in there. And I have a map of the London Underground. And I'm gonna shove that in there just to show you. you could, if this is hanging on your chest, you can just readily look at it and see where you're going. So this little Velcro strap here can contain any goods that are within the map case or the sleeve behind it. And look how big that sleeve is. It's hand sized. Okay. So that's the front flap. I'm going to close it and I'm going to flip it over to this other side. What's neat about the other side is there's elastic here, a three inch elastic, maybe what do we got? Like an inch and a quarter here, inch and a half here. And there's also a pocket right here. So if you were to have your Sharpie in this while you were traveling, this wouldn't get all hung up on your belt or get stuck in your pants or something. You can actually hide your pens and such under here, nice and smooth like that, see? And I meant to show you that a knife could fit in here too. Of course you wouldn't go through TSA with your knife, but uh, a knife would fit in here as well. So that's, uh, that would be against your, your belly and you can have ready access to this admin panel here. And this, I just love these things. I love little sleeves with a little Velcro closure, just a real little one, so that your things couldn't come tumbling out. It's just one more deterrent for a pickpocket that they can't get in there and grab your passport. And also, the Velcro makes it lie flat, nice and flat. If the Velcro wasn't there, it's possible that that's, the sleeve could buckle like this while you're wearing it. So that Velcro just keeps it flat. And this was in there, right? So the Velcro actually is this thing, this piece that flaps out. And I'm like, did they forget to sew that? I, I couldn't really quite figure it. And then I was like, oh, well, if I'm on the airplane, I want to use my iPod, and I have my iPod in there, and want to get in and out of this sleeve, 
you know, I won't be bothering other passengers quite as much. But I don't think that's why, that could be, you know, if I just thought of that, maybe that is one of the reasons. But what is really cool is I took the Maxpedition Micro, the teeniest, tiniest one they just came out with. That thing fits in there. I put it in upside down to kind of contain all those straps and everything. But this thing actually fits in there. And then this flap can go over whatever goods you have in there. And then the Velcro is going to hold it down. So it's actually a strap to help contain those larger goods as well. And I was glad to see the micro fit in here. The mini does, but you kind of jam it, jam it, jam it. And then you got to like yank it out. You know, it does fit in a pinch. But if you were traveling, I think you want a quicker, more ready access to something. So look at that. This giant micro actually fits in the Traveler Deluxe. And I'll show you how it fits in some other inner pockets as well. Okay. So then you open it up to the wallet area. And there's like, so, all right, there's two parts to it, okay? Um, I guess we'll look at this part first, the one that's behind the heavy gauge. So if you were wearing this and opened it, this would be the panel you'd be looking at here. So this strap is going to hold down all your little credit cards in here. One, two, three, four. Whoops, that's a deep one. So there's four credit card holders and then one deeper um, sleeve behind the mesh zipper pocket. Okay, and then this strap will hold all your credit cards in there nice and tight. And then there's a zipper here. You know, this could be for money or change, and that's nice to have right there. So we got two zipper compartments here. And then behind this whole thing is a giant sleeve. You can get your whole hand in there. Okay, and actually I brought some props with me. This is a moleskin notebook. Uh, I call it a moleskina. I don't know why. Is that Polish? I mean um, Russian or Italian, my pronunciation. And uh, the Moleskina fits in there, which is kind of cool. Um, let's go to this side. So there's the front again. Let's open it up. And now let's talk about this area here. So we have a zipper with a very nice large pocket in here, mesh again, so you can see through. And then these, these pockets here are all very large size, almost you know half a hand size for that one. And they get deeper, you know, like a quarter inch deeper as you go. So there's one, two, three, four large slip pockets here, as well as the zipper. Okay, and as well, behind that whole thing is a whole hand zipper. I mean, a whole hand um, sleeve pocket. So what I thought was cool, and I didn't bring an example, but if you had a large piece of paper, like an 8x11 um, standard US paper, you could, like maybe it was a map or something, you could fold it in half, and half can go in here, underneath this, this paracord thing, retainer to there, and then you can fold the whole thing up. You know what I'm saying? kind of wish I had the paper to show you, but that's that. So again, these are the loops that um, held the elastic waist retainer, but you could also use those loops to hang a carabiner, hang your keys on it. Okay, and this is the neck lanyard paracord. All right, so I think I have shown you the Maxpedition Traveler Deluxe. Very cool. Um, there's a video on YouTube. There's a young guy using it as his first aid kit as he rides his ATV in the desert, which is a pretty cool idea. Using this for traveling is brilliant. It's not like a pouch. <laughs> the dog is scratching. Stop scratching. Uh, it's not. It's not a pouch that can contain too much stuff, but it definitely, um, definitely can contain. Let's say your cell phone. Um, I don't have my wallet with me right now. Yeah, I think I wanted to show you how the the micro fit in other parts of this. Look at this. It just fits right in there. Fits in and closes. And my phone's in there as well. Phone and this micro organizer, which can just hold a wealth of other stuff. Let me get the phone out of there. So this is the third spot I found that the micro fits. I think it actually fits in this one the best. Open it up, pull it out. Okay. Uh, I just use it sort of as an everyday carry bag. I use it a lot when I um, walk with my dog and I'll turn the iPod on and I stick the phone in the back here and I just listen to it. I hang this around my neck and we walk. Put a flashlight back here. A little knife. Good times. All right, so that there's the Maxpedition Traveler Deluxe. You can see that at maxpedition.com. This one's foliage green and let's see, I got the catalog here. What do they got? Black khaki and OD green as well. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that video and we'll see you all next time.